doing some thrift hunting in Florida. There's Jessica <gasps> and Michael. I'm gonna beat you to all the good stuff. <laughs> They got a whole mess of CDs. They got some books, DVDs, and bins. These bins are inconvenient. You have to go through all the stuff, dig through there. Got some Blu-rays. They have all these Todd McFarlane Blu-rays. Family Guy, Family Guy, Ted McFarlane USA. What? Dick Tracy. Now, if you're gonna draw something vulgar like that, you should probably just do it freehand tracing it could be dangerous <laughs> this says memory card on it so it caught my attention thinking maybe it was like for playstation or something but it looks like this no idea what that is but it sells for like 15 bucks so i think i'll grab that Hi there. hello How's it going? very good so not too much in this place that interests me they do have this record room which is kind of cool but they don't have that much great stuff. Except down here they had a comic section, comic books, $3 each. I found this one, She's Josie, part of the Archie series. Bad condition, but mint condition, this is worth hundreds of dollars. So in this condition, it's worth at least about 50 bucks. Here at New Beginnings Thrift Store, and check this out. Media Monday, four for a dollar. Heck yeah. I'm a media maniac. Look, all DVDs over here, books, more books, CDs. Let's see what we can find. So they have a VCR with its own screen attached. Portable, convenient. Not worth $50 though. To celebrate Media Monday, I got all these right here for $3 total. This is a Bible. This is for resale. Uh, you can probably get about 10 bucks for that. This is really weird right here, Gladiator, and it's signed by Ridley Scott, apparently. Unless some weirdo forged it. Who's getting Ridley Scott's autograph and then donating the DVD to uh, charity? I don't know, but there you go also signed right there too these two right here are new and sealed this one right here this BBC one that has a little bit of value I'll resell that torque is a very underrated 2000s movie it's very over-the-top 2000s it's like if the movie triple X smoked meth basically is the best way to describe it it's actually a pretty cool underrated movie got this one right here this is some weird foreign film I can probably resell Got this Wes Craven movie right here, Chiller. Looks kind of cheesy, but you know, it's Wes Craven, I'll check it out. This was a cool find, Jade Empire, limited edition. Yeah. There was a time when I had like 10 of these new and sealed. I wish I kept them. I got them at Toys R Us for like $5 each. I sold them all off. It would actually be worth quite a bit if I still had those. Got some Connect games right there, and I got a, a Third Rock from the Sun box set. Okie dokie, so that Smuggler's Run uh, was just a little bit too scratched to buy, and they wanted $2 for the games, but the DVDs were 50 cents, so grabbed a few of the Orphanage. Eddie Guerrero right there, the pay-per-view, WWE, wherever the heck this is. This one, Fat Man. It's Mel Gibson as Santa Claus and he's killing people. So it's just like that skit from that show, I think you should leave. Uh, seems like it could be uh, fun. Soulfly CD, that 50 cents on the CDs. Remember that game 13? Well, here's the soundtrack for some reason. They put out a soundtrack. It's new and sealed and finally got this for I it has something to do with like guitars I guess there's only two bucks yeah masks required Ooh. these old movies always confuse me hell fighters you yeah know, it's exactly gonna be something cool mm -hmm. oh, it's John Wayne. <laughs> that's probably tricked me like five times that exactly 
So nothing too crazy here. They do have a Spider-Man 2 new and sealed and a Batman new and sealed. Treasure marts, plural. Must be good. They don't allow hoverboarding. What was Marty McFly here? So in this DVD section over here, I did find some wrestling ones, but they're scratched to high heck. But they have the Simpsons game for $3 in pretty good condition. This is about a $20 game or so. In this DVD section here, I found these. This one to resell Heartbreak Ridge, new and sealed. And then this one, The Guest. I might actually watch this myself. If you know if this is a good movie, please let me know in the comments. I haven't seen it before, but from the creators of Your Next, which I think is an awesome movie. Gonna just go in here. I hope no one's blocking the entrance. Oops. Mario Kart Monopoly. $5.99, which leaves very little room to make a profit. We got the A-Team van right here at an estate sale. All these cars backed up all over that way. All these cars, and they continue all the way back there. So it's early in the morning. It just started. It's the first day, but I think all the good stuff is already going to be gone. They got a Freddy toy, but someone already bought it. I actually owned that before. Yeah, I'll shoot you with them. We live half the time here and we live half the time here. Oh, so $125. So I know this is going to be horrible. Even each book is priced individual. And this one's $23. Get the heck out of town. Higher than the eBay value. So this is a big estate across the street here. They have another garage. And I did find some DVDs and Blu-ray. They're supposed to be two bucks each. Hopefully they honor that. It just said DVDs, two dollars. Hopefully the Blu-rays are too. But got like Risky Business, brand new and sealed, two bucks. All of these are two bucks. Gia, that's out of print. So these aren't worth a ton, but you know, worth like 10 to $12 each or so. This X-Files, I'm not even sure what this is exactly, like what season it is, but there's DVDs in here. Hopefully, they'll. this is $2, I doubt it, but maybe there's four movies in there. So if this is two bucks, I'll grab it. If not, I'll pass on it. 2001, new. Pulp Fiction, new. Ten Commandments, uh, DVD, that's new also. Duck Soup, yep, it's new, all right. And Watchmen. They also have laser discs for five bucks each. And these Playboy ones actually sell for quite a bit. So I'll grab those. And they're in good condition. No, on eBay you can do Playboy. It's anything besides Playboy. I anything besides Playboy. Playboy's allowed, anything else isn't. No, that's the point. I've listed Playboy and they kicked it off and gave me a nasty message. Uh-huh. Uh, it was like uh, the VHS Playboy huh. tape, so. <laughs> We're waiting in line. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of ringing people up, she's playing with balls. Can we catch up? Or... We're here at thrift store. Look at all these. Oh, you found the Muppets. Ooh, Mike's gonna be jealous. Hey, Vern. Yeah, right. Uh. They have one of the rarest tapes to find on VHS, Titanic. Macarena Madness. DVD's a dollar, CD's VHS one dollar, or fill a bag for three. The same with cassettes. Let's go get some bags. Could I just bring my own garbage bag? So fill a bag for three dollars. I'm just grabbing basically anything. Phil Collins, disc three. What does that mean? Disc three. It's a regular cassette. No discs involved. So mostly country stuff, nothing too great. There's a Leonard Skinner. There's no way this guy sings good music. Really jam packed these two bags right here. Got the cassettes and then also got a bunch of VHS, like a lot of Clint Eastwood movies and stuff like that. 
I wanted to point this out. So the director, Bob Clark, who directed A Christmas Story and Porky's, uh, one of his earlier movies was called Death Dream, and it was filmed here, Coney Island Drive-In. It's an underrated movie about a Vietnam vet who comes back dead. And this is the house from the movie. So this is a good deal right here, four for a dollar for this shelf. So you can get like an alarm clock, 25 DVD cases, this audiobook Bible, and something else for one dollar. Oh yeah. Evening dress is 50% off, sweet. They have a media room here. Yeah, I know. Duh. Once again, John Wayne has to like tease us. John Wayne in Helltown. The only hell I want is when it comes to Frogtown. Love some ECW wrestling. Oh wait, it's the Jungle Book. Uh-oh. They got board games. This Nintendo Labo, I guess it's called. Four dollars. I can't open it. It seems to be new and sealed. Heck yeah. They got Friday the 13th. One for one dollar and then two is three dollars. Kind of random on the prices. This one's uncut. I've watched the uncut version. I think it's literally like three extra seconds. And Michael's personal favorite movie right here, Leatherheads. Michael. Huh. Did you know that Susan Boyle is actually a stage name? Her real name is Susan Sist. One dollar solo poster. It's theatrical, right? Double-sided. Nice. Congo first edition for a dollar. You can tell it's a first edition if it has a price right there. A book club version wouldn't have the price. Book club editions aren't worth as much. This random Hallmark Channel show, Sarah Plan and Tall, has value for some reason. This one also brand new and sealed. <laughs> So that's going to do it for this episode of Wild Finds. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time around. I'm out of here.